see me. Uh, but I've had a lot going on, just like everybody probably has in their world. Um, ran into some financial problems uh, and just lack of time to actually do any videos. Um, I've got so much going on and things are starting to turn around where um, I can afford to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I've got so many projects started um, and things that need to be done uh, a whole, all the way around the homestead. And then of course I guess I got the home over in Baltimore that I have to go back to. Um, and of course bring all my stuff up and handle every all the situations in there. Um, in case you guys didn't know, like I said, I'm bringing probably about 15 of my family members all coming here with me, all plan on living on the homestead as much as fully off-grid as possible uh, with the codes allowed, restrictions, and, and plus um, what, what, you know, what they can handle. Winter's sneaking up on me. Um, I have no firewood or anything like that yet, but I plan on getting all that soon. I'm going to go with uh, a couple different ways of heating the places. Um, with wood, propane, and uh, even electric if I need it. You know, I'll have a power line drop. Uh, the main thing is the security of my family, so that's why I'm going that way, but uh, this ain't something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to be uh, you know, an ongoing process, and we'll just take it from there. Um, I'm going to show you around the place, show you some of the things I've got going on. Um, just to see, let's see what I've been doing. I just ain't been doing no videos of them. Um, here, I'll turn this one around and I'll talk to you a little bit more as we're going along. Let me see. I'll get this way. Been bringing up more and more stuff. I got barrels to make for uh, my burn barrels. Kids, some entertainment. Uh, I've got me another tent going on over there. Um, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm in a lower part of the field. This is exactly where I'm going to put the homestead, and this is the view. You know, I don't want that thing to make noise. But this is the view of, that I'm going to have every day. Now, of course, it'll be a little bit more higher, and once the place is all put up over here, I don't know if you can see it or not. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. Let the sun shining down on it. Let's go this way. Sit down. Don't know if this is a better view or not. Hopefully you guys can see it. This is the uh, pollens that are going in. This right here is going to house a 20, I mean a 12 by 40 foot uh, cabin. And then eventually down the road I'm going to add on another, um, what is it, a uh, 14 foot by probably another 14 foot coming to the back side of it. It's supposed to be the, delivered in two days. So that'll be my view coming out of this one right here. Um, of course, more buildings are going to go up around it, sheds and uh, chicken coops and stuff like that out in the field where I could see them and keep an eye on them. I'm going to have shade. That's why I stay close to the, uh, the wooded line here. But I am out far enough to have actually like a backyard. I have a backyard to it. Uh, the reason I picked this area down here wasn't just for the view, but the wind that comes across in the winter time. Uh, this hill right here will give me some the blocking part of it, um, and a little bit more easier access to over this way, down where the basketball court is, and out to the. Uh, I'll be going through the first meadow, making a driveway back, but it also is going to give me a lot of privacy. So, no. All right, we'll try this again. Memory card was full. I just slipped another one in. Anyway, out this way is going to be the driveway coming out through the first meadow. But another thing is, like I said, it's going to give me a lot of privacy uh, down here. I don't have neighbors to to worry with. They're a good acre and a half, two acres away from me, 
in every direction. So, this will be the one homestead. This will probably be the main one. Uh, like I said, this one will house a three bedroom cabin. Uh, and then, of course, I'm going to try to put a wraparound porch on it and stuff like that. This way we can sit outside and enjoy the view. Alright, I'm going to walk up here. I'm going to let the camera roll. Sorry if it's any noise. I'm trying to avoid that. take you to the second cabin now that cabin down here is already purchased like I said it will be here in two days um, I don't have enough time before school starts and winter starts to set in to build all these all these cabins so I went with just purchasing them and then uh, all of it should be paid off by time tax time comes Okay, so you can see it from here. This is the second meadow. All right, hope you can see that pretty good. Now this one I, I'm, I'm installing myself. The uh, power's down there. I had a crew come in and they uh, they installed that one. I didn't have enough money to pay them to install this one, so I did this one myself. Um, this cabin is going to be delivered also in two days and also be fully off grid. Even though there's a power pole right there, and if I need to be, I will have a line drop to heat the place or to do other things with. Uh, this one is going to be, it's already, it's already built, it's a 12 by 24 foot cabin. And of course this will have things extended off to it. And as you know, if you can see it in the background down there, that's the second meadow and you can actually see the neighbors from there. So, but there's going to eventually be trees and orchards and stuff like that put up. So that's cabin number two. And then the original cabin that I'm building, because I'll have time to actually build that, that one up there, that's cabin number three. So you see they're all within a pretty good distance from each other but close enough and they all will be more self-sufficient and at least those two will be up and ready for us for winter time this one right here I'll build I'll finish doing over the winter in my spare time and then once again this one is a little bit more secluded this is the 12 by 32 foot. It's a 12 by 32 foot cabin going here. So as you can see, I've been pretty busy, <coughs> uh, especially coming back and forth from Maryland to here. Uh, you can see the corn is pretty much all grown up. I think he should be harvesting it, harvesting it soon. But I want everyone to know that uh, I was okay. I didn't get mad and go away and not come back or something or have something vendetta against somebody or I didn't get killed. And I'm still around. I've just been busy. Really ain't had much time to take pictures or do just about anything uh, because you know I'm pretty much handling a lot for one person. But uh, soon it's going to get done. Like I said, it, it, it's, it's coming together. Um, I still have the uh, the field on the other side of this where all of us are staying at right now. I'll actually come up and I'll get some video of that and I'll add that to it. 
show you a little things I've done up there. Well, not little. I put up fencing, installed an outdoor shower, uh, and actually an outdoor bathroom for everyone because it's all of us are up here. Uh, I kind of got screwed over from the first plans. Um, we rented a um, a mobile home, a three bedroom mobile home for my family to stay in, and the guy kind of ran off with the money and didn't finish the house where it could actually be livable or habitable. Um, and so I had to cost me some more money to go take him to court. We go to court on that uh, right around the end of August. So that put me in a hurting. We had no house and no money. So we had to go this route about putting in cabins and just roughing it and taking care of it. But I'm not going to let my family rough it too long. I'll make sure they're taken care of. Like I said, if I have to have a power line dropped, water brought in or sewage took out stuff like that oh that'll that'll happen but they're actually content they're all good they're over there making dinner for us my wife is and the whole family is pulling together and that's what family should do but enough about my little sad story i want everybody to enjoy my videos so you're not what you so i shouldn't i'm you're not going to basically hear any of the drama that goes on between family members or, or things that happen. Things happen. Or shit happens. Whatever any way anybody wants to look at it. We're going to try to always keep an upbeat on our videos. And not give you the sad stories. Even though things happen, they happen. <laughs> but I'll walk on over. I'll stop this recording now and I'll start from the cornfield as we go back up. But cabin number three, we should be working on say maybe in October, November, November-ish. So that's basically put on hold, I, even though I have all the materials for it, because I, I had to stop, pull myself to take care of things in Baltimore, and plus come up with a different route. So we came up with enough money to purchase this one. It's a 12 by 24 cabin. Uh, it already comes just like uh, you might have seen in, like, say, Fixed by Docks or uh, Joe from St. Bernard Acres. You might have seen their cabins and stuff like that. Uh, it's already prefabbed. It's already hooked up. All they got to do is come out here and drop it off once I have the uh, foundation put in for them. Or the footers or whatever they want to call them, pollens. So that's purchased. We purchased that one outright. That's bought and paid for. A 12 by 40 down there. We put a large ch uh, chunk of money down on it, and that'll be paid off in less than 36 months. Or when tax season comes, that'll be paid off in full. Which we actually got a real good price. If anyone's interested, it lives near me. That's uh, want to know the place where I got them from. Once you see them all delivered and everything, I'll turn you on to them. They actually took care of me. I also got a 12. Was it a 12 by 21 foot metal carport? But I got the sides that where the sides go all the way to the ground. So all I gotta do is close up the front and back. And I'll use that for my workshop and some other things. But like I said, that's you guys seen one, two, this is the 12 by 40, which will probably be the main house until years down the road when I can afford to put in the septics and the, the wells and all that kind of good stuff. And then we'll have a bigger house up on the top of the hill. But these are all still be fully off grid, fully hooked up, or self sustainable. All right, we'll work our way up here. I'll turn you off and I'll turn you back on when I get up that way. All right. I'm back up here at the top of the hill. See if I can zoom in. See the horsey over there? Well, the horse's butt. Oh, it's a great view. <laughs> oh, I had to cancel that phone call. Anyway. Let me see if I loosen this up. Down there over the hill. Where the cabin was, where it is, going to be, where the first home, main homestead is going to be. 
up here. Uh, as you can see, let me see. Let's walk and talk. Hopefully this thing's not rattling, making noise. I got my flag up. I had to have it up. That's part of the kids' playground house. I gotta take that down. I got the uh, collection of golf carts. I'm going to get up and running. Let me see. I can probably take this off the stand now. As we get closer, you'll be hearing the crowd, the family in the background. But all this eventually is going to be moved down. Now, the neighbor has actually been nice enough to let me fill this tank up with water and I bring it up and I transfer it into the uh, shower area. It's my brother's homestead, temporary. Now, that's one thing too that I um, don't know if you guys all remember everything that I was doing up here was just a temporary shelter to put my uh, put us in so we can live comfortable until everything was ready. So we have the water tank. Yes, I know it's not covered up yet. So far so good, there's no allergy or anything in it. The hot water heater, it's a Wilson. It only cost me, I think it was like $129. Powered by that. And this is the makeshift shower house actually does pretty good. You go inside, flip a switch, shower starts working. We put a couple of, uh, was it uh, the porta potties uh, in here and we have them into the big tote when we're done and they go to uh, the local campground and we have to empty all the septic tanks in here once a week. So that actually works out pretty good. Chickens are all doing good. There's the solar panel setup that's running the RV and powering the shower, the shower stuff, uh, the pumps and stuff. Fencing, pretty good, good price. I think it was a total for the poles, the hooks, and the fencing that I put up around here uh, was about $270. And that's 200 feet of fencing and, and poles every 8 feet. So, <laughs> no, I did purchase uh, an earthquake E43 43cc auger. It's actually pretty good, but if you hit rocks or whatever, it's, uh, it just bogs down. <laughs> and um, I guess you all hear Bobby Gall in the background, hey. but that's the way he is. Bobby Gall. <laughs> so Bobby Gall, you apologize, Bobby, Bobby Gall, Bobby Gall, apologize to YouTube for over there doing all that cussing. You got people with virgin ears that watch this. <laughs> that, by the way, that was my ugly sister. <laughs> uh, as you can see, my my solar system is, is still up and running. We went through five days of clouds. My batteries got down to 12.4, 12.5 was the lowest they got down after five days. Uh, one full day, or maybe a day and a half, one a full day and a half, my batteries are back setting at, at nighttime after the sun went down at 13.0. Um, the other ones down there are setting at 12.9. Uh, only 400 watts running that, 500 watts running this, and I'm powering, and she's, they're powering extra for the shower system, I'm powering everything to run their TV, I mean their, uh, what is it, dish network, and now my brother-in-law made his way up here with his RV, and we're powering that up, all off of my battery bank, so... If you people can get a hold of, or anyone can get a hold of, sell tower batteries and get you a nice MPPT charge controller and some decent 
500 kilowatts, or I mean five, 5 kilowatts, or 50, 500 watts, or whatever it is I got running it. Your should be pretty good. You shouldn't have any problems. Uh, that's all I have set up. That's all I have hooked up. I got no breakers in between it. I got nothing in between it. It's just a fast setup. And it's running fine. On both of them. Just the keg. As you can see, like I said, my uh, brother-in-law, he made his trip up in his uh, Winnebago miniature uh, <laughs> was the RV. Said it drove here great. He only cost him, what was it, he put $28 in fuel? Yeah, it's only a little four cylinders in it. $600 yeah, and he only paid 600 bucks for this. That's actually awesome. Now he did have to do some work on the inside and everything, so that's fine. And uh, let me see over here. Now I have, like I said, I told everyone I already have all my uh. Here, let me go over here for a second. I'll come right back. But anyway, I'm taking uh. I wanted to show you, I brought up the rest of my gear. I got um, all my solar panels are up here now. All the uh, setup. Uh, this is how we uh, truck water back and forth. So we're going to work that on down. Uh, after the next couple of, of, probably say like maybe a week or so, I, um, I'll have a couple more videos up and showing the progress of uh was it cabin one cabin two and cabin three or and everything else that's being moved down to the uh final homestead because like i said everything up here was just temporary temporary um as you can see we pretty much made ourselves at home up here uh the rest of the family is either out somewhere or around Eventually, I'm going to sit down and have it do a video and introduce all of them. And uh, the rest of the uh, plans for the future, for especially for Meadow number one. I think everyone will be totally surprised and totally happy um, with that area. Uh, of course, we'll come up with a better name for it than Meadow number one. <laughs> Meadow two and the cabin will have actually names for the place. I still like the Field of Dreams because this is basically a dream of mine and I'm pretty sure my family and a lot of others and it just suits it um, corn is actually like I say it's gotten big as you can see here let me see I got my hand pinky spread out it's a good almost 8 inches 10 inches of corn uh, this is uh, of course field corn they like said it's actually pretty good if you eat it while it's young uh, older it gets, the harder it gets, or something. I'm not absolutely sure. Remember, city slicker. <laughs> uh, all the rest of <coughs> places around here, it's pretty much been going through a drought. Um, they actually you see they cut everything down the field over there. I don't know if I put that on video or not. But um, I'm trying to think what else I can give you an update on. Uh, okay, let's see. Those uh, outside lights I was telling you guys about. It's well worth the $16 for them. Uh, they're like street lights. I've got to use them all up and down this whole part <coughs> of the site that we're using. And we all walk around with no problem. Of course, this camera will not pick it up. It'll make it still look like it's dark outside, but it's literally lit up. It's like having, uh, say, 100 watt light bulbs everywhere. Light bulbs, light bulbs. But everything's fine. Everything's great. I hope everything's great everywhere else. I hope everybody haven't had a chance to check out a lot of people's videos or leave comments. And oh, that's another thing. I don't have internet yet. Uh, it was supposed to be here a week ago. Instead, I got another visit from the place. And instead of dro um, dropping all the lines up here to this pole, which is pretty good because I've changed everything, all the lines are going to come underground. And they underground till they get to the other pole or come overhead or blah 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 I don't know it's, anyway it's going to be dropped off in the middle of the property and then I'll supply it to different places and different areas as I like and where I want to put it
So but <clears throat> they say that might take two weeks. And when I go down here to the local sheets, uh, S H E E T S or Z or something sheets, it's like a free Wi-Fi for McDonald's, like McDonald's and all that for internet and all. Uh, my upload speed was 0 0.007, so that's why you haven't seen any videos uploaded from me up here. Uh, I, now my sister-in-law, they have internet, and I will go down and upload this video tonight to let everyone know that I'm okay, everything's okay, and everything's going well, and you can see some of the progress that I've, I've got done, or doing, and the plans for the future. And I'll get some more videos up. But until then, you all guys take care. And I'll see you guys next time.